All right, y'all. So I saw a comment saying that y'all want me to check out MGK Halo, man. I'm trying to think. Was this off of Black Flag? I can't remember it. I, I don't know where this is from. I, I want to say Black Flag. Because it seemed like this would be a track off of Black Flag. But I don't know. I had to see, though. I would definitely have to see. But, hey, old MGK, new MGK, doesn't matter. We still here regardless. We are still here regardless, man. You know, we fuck with MGK heavy. MGK, Yellow Wolf, M, fuck with all of them heavy, bro. Because they both lyrical geniuses. They all lyrical geniuses. And they be going crazy. Listen, man. Classic, classic MGK. Stuff we fell in love with, bro. I'm, I'm like every time I react to MGK is always crazy just to think that like this was over a decade ago. And, like we all started listening to him for real, for real. Over a decade ago, like time just moves fast. It really does. Like as a matter of fact, I think speaking of Black Flag, like I think isn't it going to mark like ten, like a ten year anniversary this year? So I might have to go back and react to the album or react to a couple songs from it or something. Because, yeah, man, now we start to get into 10-year anniversaries. Like, that's just how crazy. Like, that's... We getting old, bro. We're getting old. <laughs> it's crazy. But, hey, nonetheless, we still here, though. So, what's good, International Gang? It's your boy, Zanny. Bring y'all another reaction. We got Machine Gun Kelly, Halo, the official video. It's always good reacting to Classic M. I mean, Classic M. Classic MGK. <laughs> Let's get it, y'all. Yes, sir. Nothing like fan love, bro. DST for life. I don't know if I heard this song before. I gotta hear the verse. Hold on. We may not have to understand what our life is going to be in a year, but for this moment right now, this song is for the ones who suck like the way. Ah, this ain't no halo over my head, bitch. Yo. So dear God, can you forget the sin after everything I did? It's my beginning because the devil around me. So much to do with think I got a death wish. Oh my God. Yeah, and the voices in my head get louder. Watching my career disappear like powder. Oh. Wish I could rewind those hours and get my life back. back. Strike that. that. Clinging to this weed like a life jack. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck rapping. I was really living everything that I was spitting, bitch. What's happening? No more. daily. Nights crazy. Dream chase until the drugs came. And I was chopping up them bitches like Jason. Had a motherfucker's face. Oh, we chopping up from the holes like Jason, leaving motherfucker face on a coat like on the stone like pavement. Oh my, hold on, bro, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, this is that old MGK. This is that old MGK, man. Oh my God, bro. When he had that, bro. When he had that, them gunner flows. I mean, he still got them now. Obviously, he still got them. But bro, back then, hearing this stuff back then, when this stuff originally came out, was just insane. It's still crazy hearing it today. But man, my boy came, he came going crazy, bro. Like, he came out going crazy. Oh my God, I, I might have to, I'm about to rewind it back just for y'all, bro. I'm starting this verse back just for y'all, man, because what the hell? Come on. The way how he came starting off. Damn. He did this shit for the fans too, bro. Oh, this ain't no halo over my head, bitch. But dear God, can you forget the sin for everything I did? It's my beginning because the devil around me so much to do with think I got a death wish. Back. Yeah, and the voices in my head get louder. Uh, Watching my career disappear like powder. Oh, wish I could rewind those hours and get my life back. back. Strike that. that. Clinging to this weed like a life jack. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck rapping. I was really living everything that I was spitting, bitch. What's happening? So, Fights daily. Fuck your Nights shit. crazy. Dream chase until the drugs came. And I was chopping up them bitches like Jason. Had a motherfucker's face laying on a the cold pavement. Oh, oh. Wake up, take them. Now I feel sane. Woo. Spending every penny in the studio slave. Yeah. Me on my mind. Working any odd job. Praying that this little dream was going to feed our baby. Save me, Lord. Save me lord what the fuck is this curse you gave me lord Damn. everybody think i finally made it lord but all i am now is a slave my god oh my god 
Everybody thought I made it, but all I am is just a slave, Lord. Everybody thought I made it, but all I am is just a slave. Put some respect on MGK name, bro. Put some fucking respect on MGK name, man. Not too many people would get that line or feel that line. Everybody, th everybody thinks that I made it, but I just feel like a slave, Lord. Golly, man. Oh, my God. <sighs> Nigga, that's deep. That's deep. Made it, Lord, but all I am now is a slave, slave my oh. God. Damn. That mean he been grinding. He been working day in and day out. Non-stop grind, bro. And he did this shit for his fans, bro. Love to see it. Wipe every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain anymore. For the former things have passed away. Yes, people like fucking motherfucker. Yeah. Put that halo around my neck, bitch. Yeah. bitch. And give me death. I'm 22 and this 22 on my left. God bless. Maybe I'll finally sleep. Maybe the return was originally mine, cause find its key. Maybe I will be great. And this voice of mine was designed to be the finest key. But <sighs> I'm losing faith. Okay. Every day they got news to break. Like my single flop, and now I ain't hot. And they don't know if I'ma ever see the light of day. Cause my label's mad, or my album's bad, or you ain't living up to the hype we thought you had. Or I lost the fan, or I'm a cuss again. And meanwhile, I ain't there to be my daughter's dad. Fuck, what's meant for me? Cause I don't ever wanna become a celebrity. I don't ever want someone to feel less than me. So put your camera down and stand next to me. Right here. Uh. EST, everyone stand together And if I ever R.I.P Then I know everything I stand for forever Lace up Not too many people can say that Not too many people can say that If I die today Everything I know will stay forever man Lace up And he wrote this shit When he was 22 man He was a year younger than me I'm 23 Oh my god man and you know what's the and then you know what's the best part about it, man? He went through all of them trials and tribulations at an early age, man. Early twenties, like bro, like we we still young as fuck. We're well, we are young as hell, man. We just get started in the world, literally. And my boy, and he know that junk too, man. That's why I'm saying, like, that's why, like, you take. That's why everybody say, like, all of the people, all of the successful people in life that are like now, like in their fifties and sixties and seventies, they say literally, like. In your 20s, early 30s, you go through your hard times. Like, go through all of the bad stuff at an early age. So that that way, by the time you get in your 40s and your 50s and your 60s, you've already, like, you know what to do. That's what they say, man. And look, he was saying it at the end of his song, at the end of Halo. He was literally just saying, like, everybody was saying, you're not going to make it. Your album suck, your album flopping, all of this stuff. Like, he went through all of that bad shit. Now look where he is now, 10 years later, in his 30s, 32, 33. Look where he is now. Killing a killing a freaking rock game, he, he can still go back to the rap game rap game at any time and still kill that shit like how he did with Halo. At the top of his game, going crazy, making shit like this. <laughs> like yeah, man, MGK done came a long way, man. The Midwest, the mid fucking West, man. He from Ohio. I'm from Michigan. Literally, right there, I, bro. Like, literally, you can literally just drive to that bitch, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. I gotta run that back. I'm running that back. I'm running that back, man. Y'all gotta hear what he said. My label's mad, or my album's bad, or you ain't living up to the hype we thought you had. Or Damn. I lost the fan, or I'm a cops again. And meanwhile, I ain't there to be my daughter's dad. Fuck, what's meant for me? Cause I don't never wanna become a celebrity. Really? Yeah. I don't never want someone to feel less than me. So put your camera down and stand next to me. Come right on. Uh, EST, everyone stand together. And if I ever RIP, then I know everything I stand for is forever. Lace yeah. up. Lace up, man. And when you play this song, hold your head high, motherfucker. Hell yeah. Don't never look down, be comfortable who you are. Our flaws are what makes us perfect. Oh, God. EST for life, man. Lace the fuck up. Killed it, man. Oh, my God. 2014. This was made in 2014, bro. February 18th. I was 14 when this came out. God, man, that's crazy.
crazy, bro. Man, this shit got me in all of my feels. If I remember correctly, this originally came... Yeah, okay, it came out in 2012. Okay, oh, so it dropped on his YouTube channel in 2014. But it came out in 2012. I was 12 years old when this came out, bro. I was 12 years... Like, bro, what the fuck? I wasn't even in um, high school yet. This originally came out in 2012, as I believe I was 21. At 21, I was lost, alone, broke, addicted, and headed nowhere. And this song played a big part in that next year of getting my shit together after finding out my girl was pregnant. Wow. Damn, at 20, wow. Since then, nothing but grinding and it's paid off big with a great career with six-figure income, a strong marriage, a tight family, and purchasing my first home. Life is completely different these days and although i still stumble from time to time i wouldn't trade it back for the life i had at 21 i never go back but you have to remember where you came from est for life facts man i'm glad he, i'm glad he got his life i'm glad he got his life together man 100 percent, bro like i said man in your early 20s people are still trying to figure it out man shit in they late 20 shit in they early 30s people are still trying to figure out their lives 100 percent, man like if you don't got shit figured out and I'm saying this shit um, like legit. If you don't got stuff figured out, if you like, if you my age, if you 23, 22, 24, 25, and you and you like, damn, I don't got shit figured out. Like it's okay, man. It's, it is okay to not have stuff figured out. For real, especially in this day and age, like things is coming at us left and right in today's society. You don't know what the fuck is gonna happen the next day. You don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. So like. If you don't got shit figured out yet, it's okay, man. But like, just figure, like, like you gonna figure it out eventually. Just try, just try different stuff. Try different stuff, and you will be surprised. At like, okay, I'm good at this. Okay, I'm not good at this. Like, bro, you you gonna figure shit out, man. If you feel like you don't got shit figured out, give it time. Focus on the shit that you want to do. Practice it. Practice it at an early age, and I'm telling you, you gonna be good at that shit, man. You gonna figure it out. A hundred percent, man never give up i always say i always say this man I, I know i'm getting sentimental on y'all right now but i always say this man never give up man you never too old to chase your dreams and go after what you want to go for never too old ever but yeah man that's me being motivational <laughs> that's me being motivational but hey if y'all feel inspired i'm glad i made y'all feel inspired <laughs> But hey, man, lace up. Let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comment section below, man. If y'all want me to react to more classic MGK, let me know down below, man. I love reacting to shit like this. I really do. Like I said, one of my all-time favorite MGK songs to this day that I still listen to on a daily basis, or at least every other day, I should say, at least. Um, what's the name of that song you got? Home Soon. Home Soon. Home Soon. I listen to that song so much, bro. Like, I love it. They told me to write a soundtrack for the people that ain't have shit. Flashback to me, 2006, broke his piss. Uh, like, bro, come on. Come on. I fuck with that song heavy every single time. Gets me motivated. It's positive. It's motivational. It just makes you feel good, man. So, yeah, 100%. But let me know what y'all thought about this down below. This being your boy Zanny. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. He wrote this shit for his fans, and it was fire as hell. Lace up. Love y'all. Peace, I'm gone. Let's get it, man.